The Yuletide is now upon us. There are presents beneath the Christmas tree. We must now observe the birth of Christ. I will do this by showing generosity to my friends and making peace with my enemies. I will be the new Santa Claus. <laughs> Looks like this one's for Mr. Pickles. <laughs> Wickedness shall consume all! <laughs> mm. Mr. Pickles, I now bring to you a gift of kindness and generosity in the spirit of the season. For me? In summertime, this electric fan will help me to keep cool. Hmm. Happy holidays, Mr. Pickles. God bless us, everyone! <laughs> this gift here is for the Brigadier. Brigadier! Hello, Doctor. I have come out to wish you a Merry Christmas, my friend. I've brought you a gift. I uh, have you. Yes. To the Brigadier from the Doctor. It's a new keyboard. Uh, I think this can help for some of my internet witchcraft. Which craft dot com. Oh. Such a nice Christmas, sitting by the fake fire, with an awesome cyber blanket. Mmm, cyber boss, I have brought you a gift for Christmas. I love the cyber, cyber star bow thing. Mmm, go ahead and open it. I think you'll enjoy the cyber contents. Perfect cyber box. What's this thing? That's chicken. I thought you'd like it because it's in a metal can. Can box, this is good eating. Merry Christmas, cyber boss. Merry cyber Christmas. A little treat for Satan.
like to celebrate Christmas with you and celebrate commemorating the birth of Christ. Why would I want to do that? I'm the devil. Sin is my specialty. I hate that Christmas junk. Maybe you'd like Christmas better if I gave you a gift. I don't want a gift, idiot. Fine, I'll open it. What is this? It's a cigar. You should smoke it, devil. Doctor Who brand. It's a real one. No way. No, that's what I'm talking about. This is good. This is good to smoke. <laughs> hmm. Well, I must be going. A Merry Christmas to you, devil. Get out of here. I hate you. This one is for Rose Tyler. Rose is having some coffee. Hi, Doctor. Merry Christmas, Rose. <laughs> I brought you a gift since we've been on so many adventures together. Oh, wow. It's pretty good. Oh, hmm. It's, uh, you know, it's from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, that's gonna be good. very fun. Should we, uh, watch it? Yeah, let's watch anime a little bit. Okay. <laughs> This one's for a Dalek. Hmm. Exterminate! 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 Doctor Who is here, baby. Doctor Who? What is the meaning of this? Hmm. I come bearing a gift for you, Mr. Dalek. You would give a gift to a Dalek? You must now open your gift. Open! Open! Excellent! This five subject, college ruled notebook will be ideal for my poetry! Hmm. I have many gifts to deliver. I wish you season's greetings, Dalek. This gift is for the Kakao Doctor. Hey, Kakao Doctor, I'm leaving your present on this chair, okay? Ooh. Let's see what the human doctor has brought me. Probably not very good. Looks like what we got here is a DVD copy of Reign of Fire. And it looks like there's another one here. Let's 
stealth. This one's for the nurse. The nurse, how are you doing on Christmas? Hi, doctor. Why are you here? I've come to bring you this gift for Christmas. Wow, just like Santa! For Williams. Oh, baby. Oh, Williams is one. C -c 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 oh, grad student. Oh, I live here in this basement, and old Professor Scrooge won't give me no coal to put in this here washing machine. Hello, Williams. Good news. Santa's here. Oh, Doctor Who, who, it's so good to see ya! It's so good to see ya! Mm, Williams, I'm here to give you this gift to keep you warm on this cold winter's day. Oh, oh, my gratitude knows no bounds, Doctor Who! Mm, I think you're gonna like it. Wow! A copy of, of Pride and the Prejudice for my very own! Wow! Mr. Bingley is one smooth pimp! It looks like this one's for... Pot. Yeah. I can't believe I got sent back to the Viking times. I feel like the most small-time Viking of all time. It's me. What? What is my enemy doing here? Mm. Fear not, for I bring good tidings of great joy. I have brought you a gift, Pod. Pod? Um, Doctor. This will be very good for a being a gangster. Mm. Those are alien. They were made on an alien planet. Aww. Thank you very much, Doctor. Perhaps good times of peace are in front of us.
Something for my old friend Sugar. Hello, Sugar. Doctor Who. It's good to see you this Yule time, friendo. Sugar, you are a kind man who has never harmed anyone for any reason. I'm a nice man. I like everybody. I brought you a gift. Perhaps you will like it. Put the gift on the table. This gift has traveled all the way here f for you over um, several years. And you must make a choice to have a Merry Christmas. I'm merry and into it. What is this, my friend? Hmm. It's a special kind of gun that is used to slaughter cattle. I feel like I'm becoming a psycho. I feel like this is making me want to kill people. Yeah, there might be some witchcraft in there. I have now become a psycho. Merry Christmas, my friend. Don't forget about the master. Mm, my friend, the master. It is I, the master. I have now come to wish you a merry, merry Christmas, my friend. It is the Christmas time. Action. I will now give to you your Christmas gift. I will receive this gift from you, the doctor. Mmm. This bag is very good. Good. This will keep my hands clean as I play the instrument of merrymaking. That is one of the holiday songs I have found in my travels, and it is my gift to you. Let us now play together.
the bug freak. <laughs> the bug freak. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've come to wish you a Merry Christmas. It's not really wine glasses. You gotta look inside. Oh my gosh! This is my favorite team! Yeah, I know you like the twins. Go, twins! <laughs> Have a Merry Christmas, bug freak. Thanks for the gift, chump. Bye bye, sucker. Bug freak. Bug freak. Bug freak, baby. Yeah. <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a twin's hat. Oh, baby. Williams is just a sad little Christmas orphan. Just one sad little Christmas orphan. My parents died when I was very young. In fact, my father was younger than I am now. So I guess really, I'm the older man. Ah, uh, I've had two dreams about him ever since he died. Dream number one, I was looking for him someplace. Uh, I think he was gonna give me some mad cash. And then the other dream, oh baby, we were riding these fine horses, riding on through the mountains. And my father, ooh, he comes running on past, carrying fire with him in a horn, I say. I said he's carrying fire in a horn the color of the moon. And he ride on ahead. And I knew he was gonna build a fire. He was gonna build a fire on up ahead, baby. And I knew when I got up there, he'd be waiting for me. And that is when I woke up. <laughs> 